Hi. So everybody's doing this ice bucket challenge. And I just recently lost my mother. <laughs> I didn't want to cry doing this. And I lost her to ovarian cancer. And you know, I have heard of ALS for years, years. But how many times has people, have people heard of ovarian cancer? Not a lot. Until it affects you. July 2nd was when my mom died. She'd been sick in the fall. This is coming from a woman who is hardly ever sick. Never has been in the hospital that I can remember except for a surgery. She had symptoms that if I would have known more, I would have picked up on and asked her to go to the doctor sooner. Symptoms are so vague with ovarian cancer that you don't know until it's too late in most cases. There are survivors and they are so lucky. The disease's nickname is called the silent killer. Um, symptoms are bloating, like increased abdominal size or persistent bloating, eating, difficulty eating or feeling full quickly. For my mom, she was throwing up a lot, and she always did, right until she passed away. Pain in the pelvic or abdominal areas. Luckily, she never complained of pain. Urinary symptoms, urgency or frequency, and even changes in bowel habits, extreme fatigue or unexplained weight loss. When they uh, had done my mom's surgery, it was a seven hour surgery and by the time they opened her up, it was everywhere. It was on her diaphragm, it was on her stomach, it was on her liver, it was on her bladder, it was on her intestines. With the symptoms, you know, it doesn't matter if it's just a little bit of something. Ask, ask to be tested. The doctors have got to start testing women and finding this sooner before more people lose loved ones. I've come up with my own version of a challenge and I don't know how far this will go or if it'll do anything at all, but I'm gonna try. September is Ovarian Cancer Awareness Month. September is coming up very soon. Today is Wednesday the 27th of August, so a few more days, the month of September. I'm gonna be going at this hard. I'll be sharing this and nominating people over and over and over. I'll do it every time if I have to. Um, I always wear a teal ribbon. Teal is the color of ovarian cancer. I've worn this ribbon in my hair every day for my mom. Probably since February. Um, sorry. <laughs> These ribbons here were part of a prayer flag she'd placed where they she wanted them to be but she wasn't strong enough to even sew them on a few simple little stitches and she couldn't even do that I watched her wither away and go from a strong woman a quilter a knitter a crafter she was so vibrant and brilliant and smart and amazing and whatever she touched she could create something out of nothing and now all her stuff I'm going through it all trying to do something with it I'm selling most of it just because I don't know what to do with it it's just becoming part of her estate but I can't do what she did and having it around is painful you know I just, I don't want more people to lose their loved ones. So with my challenge that I've come up to do, I guess we'll nominate three people, but if you want to nominate more, go for it. Nominate as many as you want. It doesn't have to be women, you know, although it is women that are affected, but so are their families. My children lost a grandmother, 
my dad lost a wife, my aunts lost a sister, cousins, the list goes on and on and on. When my mom had her surgery in Calgary, two friends came out to be with me, so they're not getting nominated first. Um, Nicole Bernauer, Amanda Thompson, and then I posted about my challenge coming up. The first one that responded to saying that uh, she wanted to see it was Julie Harland. So girls, you're first. And my challenge is, I want to tell cancer to go suck a lemon. <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing. I've got my lemon wedge here. Handy little lemon wedge. Yes. Suck a lemon, cancer. This is for you, mom. I love you. <coughs> oh, God. <coughs> Seeds. Oh, my God. <coughs> so if you want to tell somebody to go suck a lemon, or you want to tell cancer to go suck a lemon, hey, pass by <coughs> challenge on. Go for it. Let's make this go viral, too. I love you all. Bye.